Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yeah. So my name is Rushil Sharma. I work at Red Hat, and today I'd like to speak uh, on the dangers of AI, which is another side of the coin, which we usually don't speak or discuss about. So let's see a couple of points in which uh, AI is leading. Okay. Can you can you? Okay. Privacy. How many of you use Amazon Alexa or Google Home or stuff like that, or even you know your Google on your mobile phones? I think most of us do, right? Uh, according to a survey and a study, it has been found that Alexa listens to your private conversations as well. So if you are at your home fighting with your wife and you are in an argument, people at Amazon they are listening to it. And they use that conversation to target you specifically to push ads which are specific to your mindset. Most of the times you, you know, sometimes you uh, Google a laptop and then you see that laptop's image on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and other places. This is how they target it. Machines replacing human beings. Now this is one of the most debated topics in the world of artificial intelligence, right? Now, let's just take an example of a manufacturing unit. There are 500 manufacturers, human laborers in that unit, and now, you, in order to increase the manufacture, you replace all the 500 uh, laborers with machines. Now, you can produce more of that atom, let's just, let's just say chocolate, right? You are producing more chocolate in 24 hours than before, but 500 of the laborers who were working there, now they are un unemployed, right? they have lost their capacity to buy those chocolates, right? Because they are not earning anymore. So how is it helping? Deep fakes. How many of you know about deep fakes? Yeah, right? Most of us know about deep fakes. Let me tell you what, de what a deep fake is. Let's say you are speaking, you have uploaded a video of yourself spe speaking about something. Now people who work on deep fakes, they can simply pull down your video and edit it so that you are saying something else, like people do with political figures or you know celebrities. They are saying something else, but then they replace the entire video and audio, and the general population who are not even aware of this, they cannot determine the difference between them. As of now, uh, these tools are only available to like professional hackers or people with a large infrastructure, but with the increased pace of our hardware in our hand, who knows, in two to three years, everybody can do it on their cell phones only. Autonomous weapons, right? Uh, US military is using uh, artificial intelligence to automate their we weapons to target a specific region, a, st a specific group, even a specific race. So this can be done as well. But Google and Microsoft, there are a huge uh, number of developers who are against this. But uh, this, I don't think that this can be stopped. They will automate the weapons industry, autonomous drones, autonomous tanks, and you know, what not. And last but not least, I think we, uh, maybe we are in the matrix, right? We are already being controlled by machines. And who knows? Because a lot of scientists and a lot of uh, AI researchers which I met in the past couple of e years, they do believe this, that yeah, this is the case or this could be the case in the coming years. So thank you and good luck. So any questions or comments? Yeah. Well, see, uh, as far as suggestions go, I don't think that the negative aspects of this technology are you know, going to you know, we can completely stop them. It, this, things like these are inevitable because if you are a good and responsible person, let's just imagine that artificial intelligence is just a child right now. We are training artificial intelligence to grow up and be a mature, good person, right? But somewhere in some part of the world, there is, let's just say, a terrorist group who also have their hands on artificial intelligence. Now imagine what they are training that child to become when it grows up. So. I think this is just inevitable. Yeah. You are asking something? We just have to be responsible, that's it. Thank you.